Hi friends, Simit here from informedtrades.com. In this video, I want to talk about the various types of mining firms that, uh, that investors in the, in the gold mining space can, can look at or consider, a classification system of sorts and the various differences. Basically, there are four types of, of mining stocks, uh, more four types of mining firms, one could say. Uh, explorers, producers, the majors, and the financiers, or, or the financiers also known as uh, prospectors or, or the royalty model. Explorers. These are, as the name suggests, uh, firms that aren't producing anything. They're still looking. They're searching. Uh, they usually, or, or they need to have a sufficient amount of geological talent, geologists that know how to find uh, or identify areas, resources that are going to have, you know, a significant amount of economically achievable uh, minerals. Explorers, it is an increasingly high risk sector. Um, you know, these are the tiny market cap companies. Often they may have not have the funds to sustain operations. And there's also the issue that the number of new gold discoveries is declining as the chart on the screen shows. So it's, uh, so it's a really high risk game in this regard, this, particular, this type of stock. At the same time, though, it is significantly higher reward. Um, you know, if you find a firm that actually does find gold, its value is going to go up significantly, it becomes a lucrative uh, takeover target, um, and then once it goes into production, you know, it's, it has great potential to, to increase in value as well. The chart on the screen now illustrates that, you know, it's the, the producers have the lower value, or the, excuse me, the explorers have the much lower value, and then once they become a producer, they cross over and they get that, uh, that much greater value. So it's a great opportunity in that regard for shareholders. Explorers and small producers are also acquisition targets. Uh, so basically, if you are a major firm, uh, you know, one way of expanding your portfolio or continuing to grow is to simply acquire explorers and, explorers and small producers. Small producers are generally regarded as those that produce less than 1 million ounces of gold per year. Um, so these firms that have, the explorers that have lucrative properties that actually have minerals and the producers that are already engaged in production and are, are still growing, uh, the quality firms like these are, are great acquisition targets. If you're a shareholder, usually on an acquisition, the, there'll be a nice share prop, share price pop, um, you know, 10%, 20%, 40%. Um, on the acquisition. So it's a great opportunity to for shareholders to get a quick return. Uh, there's a whole bunch of investors that focus specifically on finding firms that are lucrative acquisition targets. They have a, a major shareholder uh, or major mining firm already as a shareholder. They've got promising uh, mineral opportunities. Uh, and so there's a, a whole market for, for finding these acquisition targets and profiting on potential uh, acquisitions. Majors, who are the firms that are usually doing the acquiring, uh, are also safer in the sense that there's usually a downside. These are firms that are producing a significant amount of minerals. They have a, a sizable market cap. Usually uh, 10 billion is the number to watch and 1 million ounces of production. Often they're issuing dividends. On the screen now is Newmont. Newmont Mining in particular is one firm that's notable for, for pegging its dividend issuance to the price of, of gold. Uh, so, you know, for in terms of what's the safest way of playing this, the majors uh, definitely a strong case can be made there of buying some majors, getting the dividend, and, and holding on in that regard. Financiers, uh, also known as prospectors of the royalty model, uh, these are companies that basically have a venture capital type of model where you know they raise uh, a bunch of money, other people's money, and they take stakes in, in other mining firms. Uh, and they work out joint venture deals, royalty deals, where they'll take a stake and uh, explore, and if that mine goes into production, they'll get a, a percentage of the revenue uh, from that mine for X number of years. Uh, for this model to work, uh, the, the operators need to have a, a network. They need to be able to connect it to other mining firms that are producers, explorers, uh, and they need to be able to raise a lot of capital to buy a stake in all these companies. Uh, the, app, the opportunity here is a bit of a diversification opportunity. You know, a lot of these companies that employ the royalty model will have a, a you know, 40 some properties in their stake, so it's a, in their portfolio. So it's a bit of a way to get a piece of a lot of different properties. That's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can join us over at informedtrades.com. Thanks and best of luck in your trading.